And we're back for part two <laughs> of the, uh, the little, what is it, the J Soccer Vlog. Oh, well, that's annoying. I didn't even get a chance to have a swig, but then just carry on. <laughs> as you me. were. As you were. We're talking about Kashima Antlers against Sanfrecce Hiroshima. A bit of a surprise, eh? Kashima Antlers hmm. 5, Sanfrecce Hiroshima 1. Sanfrecce, downward spiral, out of control. And you put in the, in the notes, on the rocks. I mean, is it a drink now? Should it be? Yeah, no, I think uh, I don't think there's a problem at San Francisco, but uh, they've had a bit of bad luck. Uh, two losses, two draws, and only one win in the last five. Mm. But not, they've, not they've, the won, they've won the last two championships mm. when everyone was putting them down and expecting them to come second, third, fourth, or whatever. And exactly, you talked about Gamba sneaking from behind and, and maybe winning this championship, so San Francisco had the experience of doing just that. And I don't think anybody's got Kashima Atlas down for the championship this year, really. Mm. But they're sneaking along in fourth place. Sneaking is today's, uh, today's sneaking word, is, isn't it? is the word of uh, the day. I haven't lost in five since the break. Uh, I think it's uh, three draws and two wins. But um, they're doing all right. They've got 34 goals, top scorers in the league. Wow. Um, and the defence isn't too bad at 21. The goal difference is plus 13. It's 194 centimetres, 85 <laughs> kilograms. Oh, sorry, I thought I was a Japanese commentator there for a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, they've just signed up Jorge Georgi Wagner, who uh, left right. Kashiwa Reiso last year, and uh, I guess either he wasn't doing too well or he's desperate to come back to Japan because mm. he loves sushi, and they've signed him up. But to be honest, I think Kashiwa Reiso don't need George Wagner. They don't need another average aging Brazilian in Japan when they've got five or six very decent young players who, to be honest, could be discussed in a completely separate podcast, so I'm not going to go into it now, but doi, shoji, blah, 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 blah. So they've got quite a few Brazilians, basically, um, that's what you're saying. Yeah, well, they're a very Brazilian-based team, mm. way back from Zico in oh, the old days, course, you know. Yeah. But, and they've always, always, uh, maybe actually always, but they've, they've often, in the majority, mm. most of the time, to cut a long story short, have always had a Brazilian manager, and... Um, They've always had two or three um, decent enough Brazilians. I mean, they've had their share of dogs mm. um, who ended up in the Churrascaria in the end, I'm sure. But uh, <laughs> <coughs> uh, Kashima Antlers. Anyway, so Kashima Antlers 5, San Fresh Hiroshima 1. Neither of them are going to win the championship this year, are they? I wouldn't have thought so, but looking looking at the league table, you'd, you'd say the way it stands, Kashima Antlers on this unbeaten streak of at least five, because I can only see the last five games, and plus they're in fourth position, mm. and only seven points behind. If we're saying that Gamba and Hiroshima have got a chance of winning it, why not Why not Kashima on an unbeaten run? I think the big key point will be Georgi Wagner, for want of a better pronunciation, mm. um, is either going to come in and, and wake these guys up with a bit of experience, and he'll, he'll be content with his bench places, and whatever, or he's going to upset everybody, like... You know, and Aston Villa were top of the league and they brought in Tony Cascarino. Oh. Remember that? I mean, no, you don't, because, you know... I do sort of remember Bringing in it, a but player I'm... that's not really needed and then messing up the team. And I don't... I can't it, believe you're blaming Tony Cascarino for that. It could go either way, you know? It does remind me a little bit of uh, Newcastle, though. When, who was it they bought? They brought in this uh, South American guy. Oh, yes. Yeah, who that, was that? Mr. Aspria. Aspria. What a player he was. Mm. And... How could that not have worked? But they were top of the league, and then it all went. All went to pieces. Need another Coke if you're if you're out there and you'd like to sponsor me, yeah. J Soccer Why Magazine, Coca Cola. Let's have some sponsorship. But Asai would be good since Kirin have totally ignored everything that I've ever sent their way. <laughs> but anyway, let's go into FC Tokyo FC four Tokyo. Shimizu S Pulse zero, a big zero. Without name dropping too much, I did speak to. Uh, yeah. Former S Pulse manager Afshin got me uh, yesterday and the day before and the day before, and uh, he was uh, he was he's he's pretty sad that uh, S Pulse lost four nil mm. after firing him. You know, a new manager usually, or you know. Oh, so that result happened after he exactly. Was fired. Oh, he actually so got now fired. After, can see. He actually got fired after probably a poor decision. After they won three nil in the week against well. Kashiwa Racehall, so it was obviously decided before that, but. It seems to be absolutely no change whatsoever. Mm. Certainly the wrong time to change a manager. I mean, either it should have been done before the World Cup break or during the World Cup break, mm. or at the end of the season when they've just scraped survival mm. and then they can plan ahead for next year. Yeah, bad timing. Very bad timing. And uh, the, the general consensus on uh, Twitter, for example, is that I uh, can't believe he got fired in the first place, but mm. the timing is even worse. Meanwhile, uh, talk of Omiya Ardija getting rid of a manager. Cerezo Osaka... 
are in free fall and could be looking for a manager. Yokohama Farina doesn't need a new manager. Wow. I don't think Mr. Gottfried is going to have any trouble finding a job. Um, yeah. I think he'd like to stay in Japan, but he's got other irons in the fire, for want of a better word. And I'm not talking about West Ham United. <clears throat> irons. Which is good. I'm oh, sorry, Scunthorpe. <laughs> anyway, never mind. So, Same and colour. FC Tokyo, they're coming to town soon, and maybe we're going to discuss that later. They're coming to Cerezo. FC Tokyo, four wins out of five since the uh, break, isn't it? Mm, or something, something like that. Like I'm just scrolling down or scrolling up. Uh, fifth position. Oh, yeah. I'm they're surprising. Run as well. They're surprising. Even their own fans, mm. Mr. Mr. Ben J Talk Podcast. Mr. Maxwell. Ben? Mr. Ben. No, Mr. Oh. Ben J Talk does he, Podcast. Does he get Maxwell. changed in it? Because <laughs> it's kind of like Mr. Ben's room, actually. Mr. Ben, think Maxwell, Mr. Ben Maxwell. He's, he's been mentioned five times now. Yes, yeah, so contractual yeah. obligation out of so the way there. Send the money in the post, please. Um, check, I think even FC it. Tokyo fans are surprised and not expecting it to yeah. continue. Okay. Um, but the, the manager, Mr. Ficadenti, has uh, suddenly put a few things together, and uh, yeah. it could be well. Let's uh, let's drop right down to the bottom for a bit, shall yeah, we? Yeah, let's let's get let's get waterlogged, shall we? Tokushima Vortis two, Von Fure Kofu two. <laughs> I think Kofu won the toss and played with the tide. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, this game should never have gone ahead, but the mm. J-League hate to cancel things, you know? I hate the, your notes there. So Vault is pulling, pulling on all the new players. Well, the, Sorry, the, it doesn't the read very well. Is that I never actually make notes. Usually <laughs> this is uh, unshaved and unscripted, and I've actually had a shave today, and I've got, like, two or three lines of notes. I want to know why you wrote that. Was that a Freudian slip? Pulling on all the new players. <laughs> yeah, was, well, what you know was what, that all about? Uh, you know that Alex Ferguson once signed a player from Darlington. Really? Yeah, and he said, don't worry, lad, just get on there and uh, we'll give you a first half and then we'll pull you off at half time. Yeah, oh, okay. They said, pull me off at half time, we only get oranges at Darlington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull me, never mind. <clears throat> and we just about kept that clean, so that's so, good. So, uh, yeah, Vortis are pulling in all the new players, you know? Yeah, and I Adriano. Mean, uh, Adriano, but is it mm. too little too late? I think it, it is, be. to be honest. Uh, look, nine points. Look at the state of them. I mean, they've won two games out of how many? 18. The only possible chance that Vortis has is that the new players pull together and Omiya Adesia, Cerezo Osaka, Nagoya Grampus, and maybe Von Fure Kofu, all four of those are having mm. a pretty bad season. If, yeah. if, if three of those continue to have a bad season and Vortis pull it out, uh, ooh, I uh, misses, then yeah. there's a small chance, but I don't think, I can't see Vortis yeah. pulling it up. It's Can too you? late. It's they're going to be, they're going to go for the record of the, the worst record of a J1 team, perhaps. But, it seems that way. But, um, mm. If you look at it another way, they've only lost two out of the last five. Yeah, their form is good enough um, for mid-table, but they need championship winning form to stay up. Yeah. That's the truth. So they've only got I feel, nine I feel goals. For them. I nine fear goals. for them. Nine goals. Kashiwa Reysol four, Kawasaki Frontale one. Another bit of a shock there. Kashiwa mm. Reysol have just been stuffed by uh, Shimizu mm. Espols, who then lost the manager. Kawasaki Frontale were riding high and... Looking good, four in a row. Oh, riding high, I like it. Is Sorry, that, why is it Kawasaki. High? Kawasaki yeah. riding, riding oh, high. Kawasaki riding the Sorry, high. I got, got excited. There. That was terrible. An unintentional yeah, It was unintentional. But I if Kawasaki his, would like to sponsor the J, J Soccer magazine, yeah. please feel free to get in touch. Yeah, Kawasaki, um, thank you. In your motorcycle. Kawasaki. Yes. So, uh, Frontale, uh, four in a row, and then they lost one. Uh, manager Kazuma has uh, got rid of the, uh, the dead wood, shall we say, including his two sons. Did you know that he had his he two had sons? Two playing sons playing. Wow. He, uh, he you dumped think them one finally. is enough. Wow. And, um, but if you're looking at their form, it's been pretty good until until that result. Exactly. It's probably just a blip. Yeah. And they will be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. Yoshito Okubo is uh, looking to be top scorer for the oh. second year in a row. Oh. And I'm looking at two of his shirts right next to your head oh, there. Right. That's good um, to know. <laughs> so, um, there he is. Kashiwa Reysol, well, they're up and down like the Assyrian Empire. And, um, and losing where are in the they week. Now? And where are they now? Well, they're up at seventh. Uh, sorry, eighth now. Eighth. But they could easily sneak. Yeah, well, there's a lot, there's of, there are a lot of black marks <coughs> against their name. Yep. As three. in, they've picked up four points out of the last 15. Three losses in the last five poor. games. So In anybody's language, that's not well, good form. The key point is that they had a big argument with, um, with Leandro Dominguez, who was a bit of a. Do you tough now? Oh, okay. He's a bit of a wally. He's a bit of a racehorse. He's a bit of a racehorse, yes. Yeah, okay. And um, he's moved to Nagoya Grampus. Okay. Um, but also Junior Tanaka, who I believe, and I said it before the World Cup, was the the guy that they could have gone. They could have taken Junior the World Tanaka. Cup. Junior, not the junior. Oh, I junior. thought it was a senior version. <laughs> junior Tanaka. Is there no senior Tanaka? He's playing for Sporting Lisbon in oh, Portugal and scored like twenty-five goals in the last three games. I'm glad to hear it. Well, he's doing okay. Okay. So. Uh, Raysol have, have lost a couple of decent players and they've basically got to sort themselves out. Mm. So let's move on to Talking. part three. Oh, all right. 